Welcome to Grayon Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside the square are two semicircles, a bigger semicircle which is 150 square units and a smaller semicircle with an unknown area and we are required to find the area of the blue semicircle. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to draw a line from this point to this intersection of the green semicircle and the square to the right and this is actually a 90 degree angle okay so next is we draw another line from this point to this point of the square and another line from that point to this point and this angle is actually 90 because it is opposite the diameter. Okay, so first thing we, ha we have to label is label this as A. And, and next is we focus on this bigger triangle, right triangle, this one. So since this is this side is divided by 2, the upper side. And this distance is actually half of the side. So if this is half and this is twice, then this is actually S and this is S over 2. And if this is S over, this should be also S over 2. And since this triangle, this smaller one, is similar to this, then this distance should be twice of A. So we can replace this S over 2 by 2A. So this becomes 2A. So this becomes 2A. And this is 2a also. And if this is 2a, then this should be twice of this distance, this whole distance of the side of the square. So we can replace this s with 4a. So this becomes 4a. And if that is 4a for the whole side of the square, since this is a, then this 4a, this portion is actually 3a only. So we have 3a. Okay, so next is we consider this side. This side is actually 2a plus 2a, this one. And that will become actually... 4a 4a and as you can see it is a right triangle so this diameter will be 5a because of the legs which are 3 and 4 okay okay so next is we label this side as 3a also and if that is 3a, then if we draw a perpendicular line from this point of tangency to the center of the blue semicircle, then this should be also 3a. So 5a will be divided into two parts, 3a and 5a minus 3a. So this portion becomes 2a. Okay, so since this smaller triangle, right, triangle, it will be similar to this larger 3, 4, 5 triangle. Okay, so next is we get this length. Since this length is opposite this angle, which is equal to this angle, so this length, the double thick length will be equal to, or I mean, similar to this 3a. So, 
if we have 4a or 2a over over 4a is equal to uh, the 3 the 4a is corresponding to the 2a and the 3a is corresponding to the unknown so 3a over x so we have to cancel this a and we have one half so one half times x is equal to three halves of a so this becomes three over two a okay so next is we get the radius of this larger semi circle the green semicircle with respect to a or in terms of a so the whole diameter is of course this 3a plus 2a so the diameter for the green is equal to 3a plus 2a and the diameter for the green is of course 5a so the radius for this green is equal to 5 over 2 a okay so next is we compare the radius of these two semicircles for the green uh, for the blue i mean for the blue we have rg rb is equal to 3 over 2 a and r g is equal to 5 over 2 a and if we square that this becomes square and square and square then rb square is equal to 9 over 4 a square then this becomes 25 over 4 a square okay so next is we compare the area so area of the blue is the unknown is equal to pi over 2 times the rb square which is 9 over 4 a square and for the area of the green which is actually equal to 150 let's write already 150 is equal to pi over 2 times 25 over 4 a square so if we divide this uh, two equations the first divided by the second we have to cancel this pi over 2 and this 4 and this a square so we are left with a b or area of the blue is equal to 150 times 9 all over 25 so in 150 there are 26 25 so we cancel this 6 so we are left with 6 times 9 area of the blue is equal to 54 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye